I'm Devin Fox. I'm a young person in long-term recovery. What that means for me is I haven't used a drink or a drug in over three and a half years. Um, recovery has given me choices. It's given me the opportunity to make the next right decision. It's given me the choice to be a better son. It's given me the choice to be a better brother. It's given me the choice to be a better member of society. It's given me the opportunity to do, th do the things I, I never even dreamed I could do. I grew up and I didn't, I didn't use a drink or a drug. I didn't even smoke a, smoke a cigarette until I was 18 years old. And then it was when I was um, 17 that I started acting out sexually. And, um, you know, I, I say acting out, but really, I mean, I was just like freely expressing like, you know, who I was, that I was like a gay man. And then I didn't know how that, what that felt like, you know, and I was scared and, um, and it was a secret and I didn't want to tell my family. And, uh, and then, it, you know, Subsequently, all of a sudden, I was 18 and I had graduated from high school and I was in college, no longer under the pressures of what my family life was. And now I had alcohol and it was, wow, like I can really be who I want to be. And I thought that that was everything that I was. And, um, and it was like, it, it really felt like I had arrived. And then the alcohol turned into marijuana. You know, and then it was like, you know, smoking 10 blunts a day, you know, drinking on the weekend, weekends, binge drinking on the weekends, you know, having this like, you know, supposedly like amazing, you know, college experience and slowly declining and not knowing what it was because I thought that I thought that that was what I was supposed to do. And then I couldn't stop. You know, and then somebody introduced me to crystal meth and it was, you know, I thought I had ride before, but my God, like now I was on now I was on the moon. I woke up in a hospital a couple times, and the last time it was, okay, well, you're in a hospital gown, you tried to kill yourself again. Um, maybe you, maybe something should be different. And I went away, and I was truly ready to stop everything. And um, at that point in time, that's when I entered into recovery. That's when I finally admitted to myself that like I needed a better way of living, and there was tools that like I was willing to learn and uh, to use to get better. And my best friend said to me, oh, you know, I went back to school and there's this, there's this program there that's for recovering students. There's a recovery house, there's a collegiate recovery program, you know, for students who are in recovery. And I was like, perfect. Because I was so afraid of going back to school because school is where it all began. And I finally said to myself, I was like, you know what? Like, it's time to go back and maybe this is the next right option for you. Maybe this is the next right thing to do. It was probably the best decision I've ever made because it gave me the opportunity to, to be in a safe environment and continue my education, to like graduate with my bachelor's, to graduate with my master's, and then move forward into like this, this realm of, of recovery. Recovery is everything, you know, it, it, and, 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 I, and I stress that like recovery truly is everything because, you know, it's, it really is the, the opposite of, of what addiction is. It's about giving back, it's uh, providing service, it's uh, being, being everything that I was meant to be.